Roberts was in elementary school when his teacher gave his class an assignment to write a paper about what they were going to be when they grow up. This was easy for Monty because he knew what he was going to be. He was going to be one of the most recognized horse tamers in the world. And people would come from the far corners of the earth to learn how to tame horses the Monty Roberts way. Monty turned his paper in, but when he got it back, to his dismay, he had an F with a note from the teacher to rewrite the paper with goals that were more realistic. Monty went home and told his mother what had happened, and she said, give the paper back to the teacher just like you wrote it, and don't pay that teacher no never mind. Monty gave the paper back to the teacher just as he had written it. He wrote on it, you keep your F and I'll keep my dream and keep his dream he did. Monty has tamed hundreds of the world's most successful horses and highest earning racehorses. His notoriety has even earned him the title among horse lovers as the man who listens to horses. How did Monty do it? He cashed in on this truth. When God created you and me, he filled us with possibilities and incredible potential. And most important, he gave us the capability to dream of those possibilities and to trust that morning would come. There is this disturbing thing that happens too often in life. The dream killer puts obstacles in our path to stop us from dreaming. And then we listen to the voice that says, be realistic. Some of us heard the dream killer when we were young, when it said, stop daydreaming. But I say to you, Keep dreaming, just pay attention. Maybe it was a heartbreak that took your hope away. I say to you, time will heal a broken heart and morning will come. Don't forget, your time of pain is your time of opportunity. So go ahead, write the love song. You know the one that so many of us enjoy because it brings back faded memories and it makes us cry. While you're at it, paint a painting expressing the sadness or the anger. And this just might be the time to write that novel or poem telling your side of the story, sharing the tragedy. Is your dream killer the voice of mean-spirited people who discount your skills and undermine your confidence? I say to you, don't pay them no never mind. Believe what is true. You are full of possibilities and incredible potential. And morning will come. Is your dream killer the voice that says, I'm too old now? Well, I have a question for anyone who believes they're too old to live the dream. What are you going to do with the dream? Are you going to take the book you never published? the unfinished poem, the unfinished painting, the invention, the business plan, whatever your dream is, and give it to the undertaker to put in the ground, or cremate it and toss the ashes to the wind. Anna Mary Robinson, who is most famously known as Grandma Moses, was 70 years old when she started painting. She sold her paintings for 10 years for two or three dollars. But one day, a famous art collector discovered some of her paintings in a drugstore. And he took some of her artwork to display in his gallery. This brought attention to her work from famous collectors around the world. And her paintings were highly sought after. She was a prolific painter 
generating more than 3,600 paintings over three decades. One of her paintings even sold for $1.2 million. She painted until she was a, died at 101 years old. Anna Mary Robertson knew the truth. We are full of possibilities and incredible potential. And she kept dreaming and trusting that morning would come even if she had to wait for 70 years. Today, I challenge you, if you have a dream that's been long buried, resurrect the dream, morning will come.